if it seems a little darker than normal while I'm filming today, one of the lights up here decided to go out. Yeah. It's not a normal light bulb, it's like LEDs or something, so I'm gonna have to call maintenance to replace it. Luckily, I have all these other filming lights, so I don't think we'll notice too much of a difference. Good morning, guys. Today, we're gonna be trying to finish up some of those commissions so that I can get them out of the way and start on some more tutorial projects. Luckily, I'm not behind, but I want to post the pumpkin dragon the week of Halloween, so since this week we had a tutorial, next week we're gonna also have a tutorial, so normally I've been doing every other week with the tutorials and yeah, I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit less caught up because of this, but it's fine. Anyways, the first thing I want to work on is our dragon piece. So I've got the body basically all put together, so it's a little bit of a noodle right now, and we're gonna be putting the legs together now. Oh, I also need to add the charm to the face, so I'll end up getting some glue and doing that too. So over the weekend, I ended up making all the toes for his feet. I've got all of them right here, and we need to sew his feet together and put his legs together as well. I'm not sure if we'll add them to the body, but I want to at least get the legs done. So I'm going to get started on that, and then we'll probably end up doing a little bit more sewing and putting together of the other two pieces that I'm working on. Okay, I'm working with white, so I need to be careful. Put my coffee over here. So basically what I'm doing is I'll need a top and a bottom and that's what these look like and what we're going to do is we're going to take three of the toes, put one in the middle, one on the side, and one on the other side and then we're going to take the bottom portion, sandwich them together like that but make sure all the toes are sticking out like that and then we're just going to sew them all together and then when I flip them out, you'll have all the toes connected kind of like that. I'm doing a horrible job probably explaining it, but I'll show you once we start getting them put together. So like I was saying, we probably won't end up finishing any of the dolls today, but we'll get pretty close. We'll get the legs at least done for this and more assembly on the other ones. You'd be surprised. You would think that like the clay pieces or sewing would be what takes the longest with art dolls, but it's really assembling the dolls I find takes a lot of time. Like I could probably spend um, a day to two days straight just working on putting a doll together, depending on how much detail it has. Okay, so basically I forgot to make one of, well I didn't forget to make, I made all of these and I thought it accidentally made an extra one, but apparently I didn't. I just didn't add it to one of the toes and I didn't notice it. So it got thrown away with all my scraps and I need to make another scale and glue that into place on this toe because it's supposed to have three pink scales. So let me get that cut out and then while I'm waiting on the glue gun and stuff, I can start on the feet. I'm just going to cut a simple one out. I had a pattern somewhere that I used to make all of them, but I'm just going to freehand this one. It shouldn't be too much different from the other ones. I actually realized I wasn't sewing this in place the way I wanted it. I wanted to have it sewn all the way up to the pink felt, and I was just sewing it at the very end of the fabric. So I'm going to try that again. Pay attention this time. I think I just need to wake up a little bit. Basically, I'm going to start in the middle. That way I can make sure that the middle toe is right in the middle of the foot. And I'm starting in the middle of that middle toe. And then once we get the toe sewn on and ended here, we'll end up starting back up and going down that side. And it just helps leave everything nice and even instead of trying to like line everything up. If I didn't have like a huge list of projects lined up to work on after we get these commissions done, I would say that it would be fun to design another character with toes like this because I haven't made a dragon like this in a very long time, but that might be put off even further than the rest of the list just because it's... I got a lot to do. <laughs> I need to quit adding stuff to my list. Luckily they're not things that I have to do, they're just things that I really want to do. Quit coming up with ideas. Quit. Quit adding to things. You're just going to make it worse. Harder for you to want to work on other things. Because I do that. I'll get a giant list of things that I want to make and they'll be really cool, but then I'll get overwhelmed by it and then I won't work on any of them. I'll just like throw the list away and then start over on something else. 
So I need to quit adding to the list so that doesn't happen. Because a lot of the things on the list are already started and I really don't want to not start back up on them. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that we have the toes sewn into place. See, just something like that. So the next thing we'll end up doing is just sewing down the sides and then it'll close up to where we'll end up stuffing this and it'll have a very small opening in the back where we'll sew this onto the fabric for the legs. And then once that's done, we can sew it to the body and stuff and close it up and attach the rest of the legs along with this one. And then you don't have to make it this big. You can make it a little bit smaller or you can make it even bigger. It's just based off of how large you decide to make the claws. And these are just little clay claws, but you can also make them out of resin so they're a little bit more durable. You could also add more fingers or whatnot. Um, you could take some away, but it'd look kind of weird having only two fingers. The main reason I just do three is I find it just very simple and easy and it looks nice. But you could full on make an actual hand doing this. You just have to make like the thumb off to the side more further down. Okay, so I finally got all four of the feet done. I still need to sew them onto the fabric for the legs and stuff, but I'm kind of tired. I kind of am bored. So I'm going to switch over to something else. I need to cut some fabric out and then once we start back up on sewing, I'll probably sew these as well. But yeah, here they are. I already stuffed them, so they're kind of all nice and fluffy. They're really cute. Gives you kind of a rough idea of what it'll look like once the dragon's all put together. Minus the legs, of course. <laughs> oh, I don't think I showed you guys the clay pieces for one of them. Um, actually, two of them. I didn't show you the finished zombie wolf pieces either, but this is the face for our little plush. And it's actually going to be like a little chubby Wendigo. So I got the little clay face here. And then he also has little claws that I made similar to the dragon. So these are going to be added in a very small, kind of similar way. But that's not what we're going to work on right now. I just wanted to show you guys clay pieces. I need to get all the fabric cut out. I have it sketched out on the back end. This is what the body is going to be made out of. It's really soft. I think a yard of this was like 20 bucks, which is not bad because you could spend 20 on a blanket out of this material and that's not bad at all. So it's super soft and I got everything, I'm going to get lint in my coffee. <laughs> I got everything sketched out, I just didn't get it cut out, so I'm going to do that. And then he also has a spot that's going to be on his back. I decided to do white for that, but I think it's supposed to be a lighter gray, so I'll double check that. If so, we'll have to stain this to make it look a little less white. And then he has a black mane and a fluffy little tail. So I got that out of the black fabric. Um, this is the same fabric that we're going to be using to make our zombie wolf. So I also have that fabric cut out, but I still need to sew it too. So I have a ton of sewing to work on. But yeah, I'm going to get this cut out and then I think we'll work on the fur bits for him. So his tail and his mane, I think I want to do that. And then I'm going to wait on the body because I'm still trying to figure out what else I need to do to it. And I don't want to start it and then have to stop it. Now this is one of those fabrics that's a little stretchy. Like it does stretch a little bit, but not much. Normally I would use a sewing machine for something like this, but I feel like it'll be fine to just hand sew it. Sometimes I just don't like using the sewing machine. Sometimes I just want to hand sew things. And then other times it's like, it'll definitely be better if I use the sewing machine for this. Mainly if something's going to start tugging and misshaping because I hand sewed it, then I'll use the sewing machine. But a lot of the times I just prefer hand sewing. I don't know why. Don't go in there. There's a hole in my desk for if you want to use a computer at it for all the wires and stuff and one of the pieces almost went back there and I have like storage and stuff so I've had to pull everything out to go find that if it happened. <laughs> I should put something in that so nothing like that happens because that would be a pain. I'm lazy and I don't want to clog the hole so nothing falls in it. I'll do it when something falls in it and then I have to go find it. Honestly, something's probably already fallen in it, and I just am unaware of it, and I'll find it later whenever I'm aware of something falling into it, <laughs> and I go looking for it. 
Okay, so I got all my fabric cut out, all the bits for the legs and stuff I just left over there, and I wanted to show you guys a rough idea of what the body is going to look like. So it's kind of like a very round body. It's got a spot on the back, a fluffy tail, and then a mane that's going to go around the neck. So I think what I want to do right now is work on adding the mane around the head and sewing the tail and getting that done. And then I kind of can't really sew the spot into place because I did check and it does need to be like a bit more of a gray color. So I'm going to end up dyeing that. I'll have to wait for it to dry. So I probably won't get any more sewing on this piece done. So the mane and the tail I can work on in the meantime. So for the main, I'm going to have to heat up my glue gun and get my fabric glue out and then once that's done we'll work on that. So in the meantime I'm going to get this sewn real quick. Okay, I got the tail all sewn. It's all fluffy. It actually looks really cute. I like it. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the main glued around here because my glue gun is heated up and I've got my fabric glue. I'm almost done with this bottle so if it doesn't want to work the way I want it to, I'll probably grab the new bottle that I have. Okay, so basically I'm going to start gluing this around the head. I'm going to put a line of Fabri-Tac, and then I'll put a line of the hot glue to hold everything into place while the Fabri-Tac dries. I'm just going to do kind of sections of it, so the very top of the head first, and I'll slowly go around the head. I'm trying to avoid having a seam. So I'm going to be gluing it kind of like this, and then you'll just pull it back after it's all done. Yeah, so the rest of this week, I'm probably not going to get much actual, like, crafting type work done. It's mainly going to be computers and stuff. Um, I have an eye appointment, so I get to adventure out into the real world for a little bit. I haven't done that too often. And then I've got to deal with editing the tutorials so I have them up for Halloween. It's gonna feel like I literally did nothing all week because it it kind of feels like that when I do only computer work even though like the computer work is a lot. It's just hard to mentally consider it work but other than that I'll probably chill out for a little bit and then once I get this week of editing and stuff done We'll start back up on something. I'm not sure which project to start up on. I kind of want to do the star dragon that I have, but I know I need to start back up on the foxes, so I can't quite decide what I want to work on. So if there's anything that I'm like in the middle of working on that I had to take a break on that you're like really, really wanting to see me finish, let me know, because I don't know what I should start back up on after I get all the Halloween stuff done. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then we're going to take these two little flaps and sew them together, and then that should be all good. But you can kind of see what it looks like. It looks really cute with the mane. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind me jumping back and forth between projects. I kind of just want to get a little bit of work done on all of them. Um, this one I've actually been kind of putting off because this one's going to take longer to finish, so I probably need to get a lot more started on it. <laughs> But it's basically the zombie wolf. I have all the clay pieces done though, and I can show you these. But I did that. I think I did really good at replicating all the fur off of them. I think I did really good at replicating the face that I originally made. The only thing is the eye is slightly more like transparent, and the other one has more of a like green, creamy color to it, which makes it look like it glows in the dark, but it doesn't. So I think that's the main difference, and then some of the red is a little bit darker. But I got the head, all the bone pieces, I think you saw these. We are not going to take them off yet because I don't want to lose any of them. And then the claws for the feet. So pretty much very simple. They were really long, just extra claws. Uh, most of the foot's going to get covered in the fur, so these are just going to kind of stick out of the fur. Now, I still need to do the sewing for it, so I'll probably end up doing that while I wait for this video to process, because I've got to still edit this video today. But I want to get the wire frame done for it. Now, I have everything laid out, and because I didn't sew it yet, I don't know the exact measurements that I need, so it's going to be kind of a rough wire frame that I can bend and cut later on. 
So here is the main body pieces that I'll need for measuring out the wireframe. So basically everything's going to be slightly smaller once it's sewn together, but not too too much. So I'm just going to use this to get a basic wireframe built and then um, I can do the sewing like I said later on. I recently had to get more wire because I ran out, so this is a brand new thing of it. So I need to get it all unpackaged. Basically these just come with a little bit of cardboard around them and then a bunch of zip ties to hold them into place. What's funny is these are a little bit under pressure, so once I cut this and I separate the main wire ends, it's gonna like freak out on me for a second. I just need to... <laughs> it does that. <laughs> So I'm kind of wondering what to do with this because it's grown huge. Like any of you guys have seen this when I first got it, it's like three times as big. But for some reason it's yellowing now and I don't know what to do with it. I think I may have overwatered it. So I just watered it today because the dirt was like bone dry. But I think I overwatered it and it's yellowing all around the base. But the tips are all good, it's not wilting or anything, it's just kind of like yellow down here. So, I don't know, do you think it's just from overwatering it, or do I need to put it in a bigger pot? Because um, it's technically a succulent, so it doesn't need a whole lot of water, so I guess that could be it. But I don't know if it's a type that requires a lot of space. Because it has grown quite a bit, and normally with my plants, if they grow too big, they start yellowing if they need a new pot, so, I don't know. Kind of sad, kind of worried that this one will die because it's like my favorite one in the window right now. So yeah, that one's currently struggling right now. This one has babies all over the place. They're kind of bent a little weird because they rotated the pot and they decided, we're gonna bend this way now instead of straight up. So they're being a little weird right now. And then the succulent that was in this one died, so I put a um, palm tree We'll see how well that goes. I've got too many palm trees going right now. But yeah, I'm I'm worried about him. I hope I hope Bean doesn't uh, croak. <laughs> okay, so I got my wire frame all put together. Now, obviously, all of these are longer than I need them to be, but I didn't have proper measurements, so I just made them longer to be safe. Now, one thing that I do with my wire frames that I don't normally show in the tutorials is where I wrap everything. Even when I connect the legs to the wire frame or the head and stuff, anything that requires wrapping, I'll cover it up in hot glue to kind of protect the thinner wires. That way, nothing catches on them when you're moving the doll and stuff, so it keeps it pretty sturdy. But yeah, I got that all done, and I don't think I have anything really else I can do. It's starting to get late. I need to figure out what to do for dinner. I kind of want to make a pot pie, but I have meat that's not frozen, and the pot pie requires meat that is frozen, so I might as well use the thawed meat. Other than that, I need to make a thumbnail, clean up, just a bunch of different things to get ready for the rest of the week because... I'm gonna be on my computer for quite a bit of it. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I had a lot of fun, we got a lot done. We're slowly getting these pieces put together. Honestly, I'll probably be really close to having all of them done by next vlog, so we'll probably be working on other things. Not so sure about the zombie wolf, we might be working on that still, but I'm pretty sure the plush and the dragon will probably be done by then. I'll make sure to show you guys the finished stuff whenever I get it done though. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, to all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.